Hi, everyone. My name is Alec Avedisian. I'm the founder of a company called Rareform. We take billboards like this billboard that you would see along the side of a freeway, and we turn them into one-of-a-kind bags. Um, I actually forgot to bring out my surf bag that I had backstage. Um, but we take those billboards and we turn them into backpacks, into wallets, into iPhone cases, and all sorts of other bags and accessories. Um, so as you'll see here, this is actually um, from the movie Straight Out of Compton. Oh, thanks. So from the movie Straight Out of Compton, this was the movie billboard, um, and we've turned it into surf bags that we now sell in approximately 200 surf shops across the country and other stores like Whole Foods. We sell in the Patagonia stores, REI, Sports Chalet, um, and in other countries, Japan, Europe. So this was just an example for you. For me, you guys are probably asking, you know, what is a billboard made of and how do we turn it into bags? Well, I had no idea, but billboards are actually made of a heavy-duty vinyl. Um, and if they're not otherwise repurposed, they're destined for a landfill. Um, billboards are typically 14 by 48 feet, so they're probably around as big as this stage. And from one billboard, we can get close to six surf bags, over 100 backpacks, or 1,000 wallets. Um, yeah. <laughs> On a monthly basis, Rareform repurposes around 10,000 pounds of billboards. And from those billboards, we're able to, like I said, turn them into these products that would otherwise not be available. Um, so I kind of want to start by saying, you know, how did we get to where we are? Where, how did Rareform get to be here? And to me, it started with making the uncomfortable decision after college to not get a nine to five job like most of my friends were doing. I decided instead to take a lot of one way flights to far off places. Um, I went to, and lived in Spain. I did a summer in Indonesia working. Um, I went to Africa. I spent a month sleeping on the sand in mainland Mexico trying to find perfect beach breaks. Um, and I finally ended my way, found my way to El Salvador actually with a buddy of mine. And we started working with a nonprofit there for about six months. When I was in El Salvador, a buddy of mine came up to me and we were talking and he showed me a, a tote bag actually made from the same billboard vinyl. And he was the one that really introduced me to the idea. And a light went off and said, if he can make a tote bag out of it, one of my buddies there, I bet you in California where there's so many billboards, I think within LA alone, there's over 5,000 billboards. We could turn this into a real brand and a brand with legs and a story. So from there, I came back to the US and my idea was, okay, I can start a, a company, but I don't know anything about starting a company. So I got a job in advertising and I would start to work on rare form at night and on weekends. And like any other sane person would do, right before my wife and I got married, I quit my job two weeks before we got married and I jumped full force into rare form. Um, uh, and I'm, yeah, that was not a good idea. And we started Rareform, but the problem was I started the company, but we didn't have any billboards. I totally forgot that I'm missing the most important piece. So what I had to do was I had to call these CEOs of these multi-billion dollar outdoor advertising companies as a 20-something year old telling them, trust me, give me your billboards. I'm going to turn them into really cool products. Don't worry about it. And luckily, some of them agreed to give me the billboards, but then I didn't know what to do, how to sell them into products. So, a funny story is, my first product we made was actually a surf bag that I took to an auto upholstery manufacturer because I couldn't find anybody else to sew a bag for me. Um, now that's changed and we have manufacturing in China and Mexico and here in the US as well, but funny story how we got there. Um, so now when I'm looking back on all of this, the biggest thing about it is that I was willing to make an uncomfortable decision when a lot of people weren't. Um, for me, the biggest thing that I would say, you know, as a young person is don't always take the path that's comfortable. Be willing to take a chance. Entrepreneurship doesn't have a formula, but if you're willing to 
embrace the uncomfortable and embrace the fact that you might not know where the next step's going to take you, it'll lead you to a place that's really the most fulfilling and joyful place in your life. Um, so next time when you guys are traveling or you're on the 405 freeway or sitting in bumper to bumper traffic and you see a billboard, hopefully you'll start to see them differently. Um, and hopefully that you'll also take the next step to be uncomfortable. Thank you.